A pickup is a transducer that captures or senses mechanical vibrations produced by musical instruments, particularly stringed instruments such as the electric guitar, and converts these to an electrical signal that is amplified using an instrument amplifier to produce musical sounds through a loudspeaker in a speaker enclosure. The signal from a pickup can also be recorded directly. Most electric guitars and electric basses use magnetic pickups. Acoustic guitars, upright basses and fiddles often use a piezoelectric pickup. Magnetic pickups A typical magnetic pickup is a transducer specifically a variable reluctance sensor that consists of one or more permanent magnets usually alnico or ferrite wrapped with a coil of several thousand turns of fine enameled copper wire. The magnet creates a magnetic field which is focused by the pickup's pull piece or pieces. The permanent magnet in the pickup magnetizes the guitar string above it. So the string is, in essence, a magnet itself and its magnetic field is in alignment with that of the permanent magnet that magnetized it. When the string is plucked, the magnetic field around it moves up and down with the string. This moving magnetic field induces a current in the coil of the pickup. The pickup is connected with a patch cable to an amplifier, which amplifies the signal to a sufficient magnitude of power to drive a loudspeaker. A pickup can also be connected to recording equipment via a patch cable. The pickup is most often mounted on the body of the instrument, but can be attached to the bridge, neck or pickguard. Construction Pickups have magnetic pullpieces with the notable exceptions of rail and lipstick tube pickups one or two for each string, approximately centered on each string. The standard pickups on the Fender Jazz Bass and Precision Bass have two pullpieces per string, to either side of each string. On most guitars, the strings are not fully parallel, they converge at the nut and diverge at the bridge. Thus, bridge, neck and middle pickups usually have different pullpiece spacings on the same guitar. There are several standards on pickup sizes and string spacing between the poles. Spacing is measured either as a distance between first to sixth pullpieces centers this is also called E to E spacing, or as a distance between adjacent pullpieces centers. Topic. Output Some high output pickups employ very strong magnets, thus creating more flux and thereby more output. This can be detrimental to the final sound because the magnets pull on the strings can cause problems with intonation as well as damp the strings and reduce sustain. Other high output pickups have more turns of wire to increase the voltage generated by the strings movement. However, this also increases the pickup's output resistance impedance, which can affect high frequencies if the pickup is not isolated by a buffer amplifier or a D unit. Topic. Pickup sound The turns of wire in proximity to each other have an equivalent self-capacitance that, when added to any cable capacitance present, resonates with the inductance of the winding. This resonance can accentuate certain frequencies, giving the pickup a characteristic tonal quality. The more turns of wire in the winding, the higher the output voltage but the lower this resonance frequency. The inductive source impedance inherent in this type of transducer makes it less linear than other forms of pickups, such as piezoelectric or optical. The tonal quality produced by this nonlinearity is, however, subject to taste, and some guitarists and luthiers consider it aesthetically superior to a more linear transducer. The external load usually consists of resistance, the volume and tone potentiometer in the guitar, and any resistance to ground at the amplifier input and capacitance between the hot lead and shield in the guitar cable. The electric cable also has a capacitance, which can be a significant portion of the overall system capacitance. This arrangement of passive components forms a resistively damped second-order low-pass filter. 
Pickups are usually designed to feed a high input impedance, typically a megohm or more, and a low impedance load reduces the high frequency response of the pickup because of the filtering effect of the inductance. Humbuckers Single coil pickups act like a directional antenna and are prone to pick up mains hum nuisance alternating current electromagnetic interference from electrical power cables, power transformers, fluorescent light ballasts, video monitors or televisions along with the musical signal. Mains hum consists of a fundamental signal at a nominal 50 or 60 Hz, depending on local current frequency, and usually some harmonic content. To overcome this, the humbucking pickup was invented by Joseph Raymond Ray Butts, but Seth Lover of Gibson was also working on one. Who developed it first is a matter of some debate, but Ray Butts was awarded the first patent U.S. Patent 2,892,371 and Seth Lover came next U.S. Patent 2,896,491. A humbucking pickup is composed of two coils, with each coil wound reversed to the other. Each set of six magnetic poles is also opposite in polarity. Since ambient hum from electrical devices reaches the coils as common mode noise, it induces an equal voltage in each coil, but with opposite amplitudes. These effectively cancel each other, while the signal from the guitar string is doubled. When wired in series, as is most common, the overall inductance of the pickup is increased, which lowers its resonance frequency and attenuates the higher frequencies, giving a less trebly tone i.e. fatter than either of the two component single coil pickups would give alone. An alternative wiring places the coils in buck parallel, which has a more neutral effect on resonant frequency. This pickup wiring is rare, as guitarists have come to expect that humbucking pickups have a sound, and are not so neutral. On fine jazz guitars, the parallel wiring produces significantly cleaner sound, as the lowered source impedance drives capacitive cable with lower high frequency attenuation. A side-by-side -side humbucking pickup senses a wider section of each string than a single coil pickup. By picking up a larger portion of the vibrating string, more lower harmonics are present in the signal produced by the pickup in relation to high harmonics, resulting in a fatter tone. Humbucking pickups in the narrow form factor of a single coil, designed to replace single coil pickups, have the narrower aperture resembling that of a single coil pickup. Some models of these single coil replacement humbuckers produce more authentic resemblances to classic single coil tones than full size humbucking pickups of a similar inductance. Topic: <laughs> Notation. Most electric guitars have two or three magnetic pickups, although more or less can be found in select models. A combination of pickups is called a pickup configuration. It is usually notated by just writing out the pickup types in order from bridge pickup through mid pickups to neck pickup, using S for single coil and H for humbucker. Popular pickup configurations include Less frequently found configurations are S Fender Esquire, Early Gibson Les Paul Juniors, Gibson Melody Maker, Dan Electro U1, some Telecasters. H. Gibson S165 Herb Ellis, Kramer Beretta, later Les Paul Juniors H. S. Hamer Californian Deluxe, Les Paul BFG, Squire 51 H. 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 Some Gibson Les Paul Gold Top and Custom Models, Gibson SG3, Gibson S5 Switchmaster after 1957, Kramer Jersey Star, Ibanez Destroyer, Ibanez PGM 200 Examples of rare configurations that only a few particular models use include HS, but with single coil in the middle one model of Fender Jazzmaster, Ibanez RG2011SC, Fender Player Jaguar HSS, but with no space between the middle single coil and the bridge humbucker Hamer Phantom with angled neck pickup HHS Mayon's Legend 22 Anders Nystrom Signature, some ESP Stephen Carpenter models, and Alembic Jerry Garcia models HSSH, Music Man Steve Moore Signature 
SH Some Telecasters Music Man Valentine James Valentine Signature SHH Some Early 7 String ESP Horizons SHS Fender Wayne Kramer Signature Topic <laughs> Piezoelectric Pickups Topic <laughs> Sensors <laughs> 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 Many semi-acoustic and acoustic guitars, and some electric guitars and basses, have been fitted with piezoelectric pickups instead of, or in addition to, magnetic pickups. These have a very different sound, and also have the advantage of not picking up any other magnetic fields, such as mains hum and feedback from monitoring loops. In hybrid guitars, this system allows switching between magnetic pickup and piezo sounds, or simultaneously blending the output. Solid-bodied guitars with only a piezo pickup are known as silent guitars, which are usually used for practicing by acoustic guitarists. Piezo pickups can also be built into electric guitar bridges for conversion of existing instruments. Most pickups for bowed string instruments, such as cello, violin, and double bass, are piezoelectric. These may be inlaid into the bridge, laid between the bridge feet and the top of the instrument, or, less frequently, wedged under a wing of the bridge. Some pickups are fastened to the top of the instrument with removable putty. Preamps Piezoelectric pickups have a very high output impedance and appear as a capacitance in series with a voltage source. They therefore often have an instrument-mounted buffer amplifier fitted to maximize frequency response. The piezo pickup gives a very wide frequency range output compared to the magnetic types and can give large amplitude signals from the strings. For this reason, the buffer amplifier is often powered from relatively high voltage rails about plus or minus 9 volts to avoid distortion due to clipping. A less linear preamp like a single fed amplifier might be preferable due to softer clipping characteristics. Such an amplifier starts to distort sooner, which makes the distortion less buzzy and less audible than a more linear but less forgiving op amp. However, at least one study indicates that most people cannot tell the difference between fet and op amp circuits in blind listening comparisons of electric instrument preamps, which correlates with results of formal studies of other types of audio devices. Sometimes, piezoelectric pickups are used in conjunction with magnetic types to give a wider range of available sounds. For early pickup devices using the piezoelectric effect, see phonograph. Other transducers Some pickup products are installed and used similarly to piezoelectric pickups, but use different underlying technology, for instance electret or condenser microphone technology. Double systems pickups There are basically four principles used to convert sound into an alternating current, each with their pros and cons. A microphone registers the vibrations of the air caused by the instrument. In general this technique guarantees a good sound quality, but with two limitations, feedback and crosstalk. Contact pickups register the vibrations of the instrument itself. They have the advantage of producing little feedback and no crosstalk at all. In spite of their lesser sound quality and thanks to their low price, contact pickups and especially the piezoelectric pickup have become the most popular transducer. Magnetic pickups. Magnetic pickups, as applied in electric guitars, register the vibrations of nickel or steel strings in a magnetic field. They have the advantage that they can be connected directly to an electric guitar amplifier, but in combination with a steel string acoustic guitar the sound tends to be electric. This is why acoustic guitarists typically choose a piezoelectric pickup, built in microphone, or both. Electrostatic pickups. Another way is to use the changing capacitance between the string and a pickup plate. 
These electronic pickups produce much higher dynamics than conventional pickups, so the difference between a soft and a loud pick strike is more pronounced than with other types of pickups. An amplification system with two transducers combines the qualities of both. A combination of a microphone and a piezoelectric pickup typically produces better sound quality and less sensitivity to feedback, as compared to single transducers. However, this is not always the case. A less frequently used combination is a piezoelectric and a magnetic pickup. This combination can work well for a solid sound with dynamics and expression. Examples of a double system amplifier are the Highlander IP2, the Verwege Vamp or the LR Bags dual source and the DTAR multisource. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Multi-transducer pickups. Hexaphonic pickups also called divided pickups and polyphonic pickups have a separate output for each string. Hexaphonic assumes 6 strings as on a guitar. This allows for separate processing and amplification for each string. It also allows a converter to sense the pitch coming from individual string signals for producing note commands, typically according to the MIDI musical instrument digital interface protocol. A hexaphonic pickup and a converter are usually components of a guitar synthesizer. Such pickups are uncommon compared to normal ones, and only a few notable models exist, like the piezoelectric pickups on the Moog guitar. Hexaphonic pickups can be either magnetic or piezoelectric or based on the condenser principle like electronic pickups. Topic: <laughs> Optical Optical pickups are a fairly recent development that work by sensing the interruption of a light beam by a vibrating string. The light source is usually an LED, and the detector is a photodiode or phototransistor. These pickups are completely resistant to magnetic or electric interference and also have a very broad and flat frequency response, unlike magnetic pickups. Optical pickup guitars were first shown at the 1969 NAM in Chicago by Ron Hogue. In 2000, Christopher Wilcox, founder of Lightwave Systems, unveiled a new beta technology for an optical pickup system using infrared light. In May 2001, Lightwave Systems released their second generation pickup, dubbed the S2. Topic Active and passive pickups Pickups can be either active or passive. Pickups, apart from optical types, are inherently passive transducers. Passive pickups are usually wire wound around a magnet, and are the most common type used. They can generate electric potential without need for external power, though their output is relatively low, and the harmonic content of output depends greatly on the winding. Active pickups incorporate electronic circuitry to modify the signal. Active circuits are able to filter, attenuate or boost the signal from the pickup. The main disadvantage of an active system is requirement of a battery power source to operate the preamp circuitry. Batteries limit circuit design and functionality, in addition to being inconvenient to the musician. The circuitry may be as simple as a single transistor, or up to several operational amplifiers configured as active filters, active EQ and other sound shaping features. The op amps used must be of a low power design to optimize battery life, a design restriction that limits the dynamic range of the circuit. The active circuitry may contain audio filters, which reduce the dynamic range and mildly distort certain ranges. High output active pickup systems also have an effect on an amplifier's input circuit. Many bass players, notably Stanley Clark, Flea, Victor Wooten, Abraham Laboreal and Doug Wimbish, used active bass pickups to produce their characteristic bass tones. Players who use active pickups for electric guitar include Lindsey Buckingham, Fleetwood Mac, Mick Thompson, Slipknot, James Hetfield, Metallica, Dino Cazares, Fear Factory, and Dave Mustaine, Megadeth. Topic: <laughs> Stereo and multiple pickups with individual outputs. 
Rickenbacker was the first manufacturer to market stereo instruments, guitars and basses. Their proprietary Rick O sound circuitry has two separate output jacks, allowing the musician to send each pickup to its own audio chain, effects device, amplifier, mix console input. Tysco produced a guitar with a stereo option. Tysco divided the two sections in the upper three strings and the lower three strings for each individual output. The Gitler guitar was an experimental guitar with six pickups, one for each string. Gibson created the HD, 6X Pro guitar that captures a separate signal for each individual string and sends it to the onboard analog, digital converter, then out of the guitar via Cat5 Ethernet cable. The output can be routed as a single summed mono signal to an amplifier or recording console, or send the E, A, and D strings to one amp or recording channel and the G, B, and high E to a separate amp or channel, or send the output of all six individual strings to six different amps or channels. See also equals equals notes